Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we got a great video. We're going to be going over all the need to know locations for Vikendi Reborn that are going to give you the best chances at getting the best loot. So we're going to be covering the ice observatories, the security rooms, the cable cars, the train stop, the crowbar rooms, and the bear caves in all of their locations. If you can't tell from the bottom of your screen, I've made a very detailed map. I'll have it uploaded. You guys can grab it and download it and keep it on your phone or your desktop as a cheat sheet. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, now first up is the Ice Observatory, which can be found on the Northwest Ice Field on Vikendi. Now there's about five of these locations that kind of go in a little row and you'll see on the map that I outlined. And most of these have a little satellite dish to signify what location it is. Some of the smaller ones don't have the satellite dish, but still have the chance for some of that higher tier loot. Now, these are great places to land right out of the airplane for solos, duos, and squads because they spawn a lot of weapons in the ground and they have these little crates that you can open up and have a ton more loot in them. Specifically, what you want to do is when you land at one of these compounds, you want to rush to one of the red colored crates. Those crates have all the weapons in them and they can actually have level three gear weapons. So they can have an AUG, MG3, AWM, P90, etc. The blue colored crates are going to have all your attachments and scopes and the yellow colored crates are going to have heals, level three backpacks, and even things like the critical response kit, which can revive your teammate in one second. Now it should go without saying getting that much loot early on is very, very strong, but a couple of key things to keep in mind. If you do land here on the ice field, you're going to be very exposed to outside enemies that push into you from other compounds. And these locations don't 100% spawn snowmobiles. So if you land and you don't have a bicycle to deploy or a snowmobile to get out, you're going to be on foot getting out of that ice field. And as you can imagine, that can be pretty challenging if a team lands on one of those exterior compounds and holds you out or pushes into you in the snow field. So just keep that in mind. Oh, and also I should note that as you loot items from the red, blue, or yellow boxes, it will create an alarm and a very loud audible alarm that will annoy the shit out of you, but also alert nearby enemies where you are. So if they didn't even see you land there, but they hear the alarm go off and they know that there are some people getting loot and you know, that could be a reason they would push into you there. So just keep that in mind. All right, now next up is the security room. And the security room are those hidden bunkers laid throughout the map that actually have like an underground tunnel that you go into and they have a little bit of loot down there. But the main reason that they're there is because if you find a security key card, you can access inside of the security room and get a bunch of gear and potential for level three gear. So here again, you can get level three gear. You can get AWMs, MG3s, etc. A couple of extra neat things that you can get here are things like the newly acquired helmet repair kit, armor repair kit, and vehicle repair kit. Now those do spawn elsewhere in the map, but they're almost guaranteed to spawn in these locations. And these locations typically will have a snowmobile that you can get out of as well. Now, a couple of key things you need to know if you are going to be going to one of these security rooms with the card is that A, when you get there, there's only one way in and one way out. So make sure the coast is clear. Otherwise, it can be really easy for a team to hold you out. Vice versa, if you see a team go in, that can be a good indication that you might be able to just wait them out as they come up. And if they're on foot, it should be some easy pickings. Now, there is a built-in blue chip detector inside of the bunker. So if you are the team in the bunker, you have access to two different screens that you can watch that will automatically scan the surrounding 100 to 200 meters of area to let you know if any enemies are approaching your position. I actually use this to my advantage one time when I was looting down here, I saw someone approaching me from the radar and I actually set up a bait trap and put a first aid on the ground, went prone in the corner, I know, he came and picked up the first aid and boom, I just laid waste to him. He had no idea, but I, I did because I saw him coming from the blue chip detector screen. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of security rooms, you can only get access into these by having the security key card. Now, this is really important to understand. The security key card does spawn as a world spawn item, but it is very, very rare. I've only found it myself inside of the secret crowbar room. So that's what we're going to talk about next. The secret crowbar rooms are signified by the crowbar, as you would imagine, on the map that I've laid out for you. And you will need, as you guessed it, a crowbar to get into these locations. When you go to these buildings, the doors will have a little image of Elva Crowbar letting you know you need to have one equipped in your hand to open it up. You walk up to it, hit the action key, 
and the character will break down the door with a crowbar. Now, once you're inside of there, specifically what you're looking for are these red lockers that will spawn on the bottom of the crowbar room. Sometimes they do not spawn, but if they do spawn in there, you wanna break it open with your crowbar and look inside for a security key. I have found numerous security keys inside of these crowbar rooms. Now, in addition to the security key spawn, these rooms can actually have a lot of good loot. They can have scopes, weapons, heals, grenades, etc. And they have an upstairs location that you can get to that actually provides you a pretty good vantage point. And one of my best tips I'll leave you for the crowbar room is because you need a crowbar to get in, what you should actually do is take a vehicle into the garage, open that door inside of the garage with the crowbar, then use your vehicle to block that door entrance so that other players can't come in there if they don't have a crowbar because the front door will stay locked and you can go to the top of the building use a crowbar to get on the roof and you can have a, a vantage point up there that other players can't necessarily get to you from. Okay, moving on to the cable car. This one's very self-explanatory if you've seen or played any Vikendi, but it is kind of helpful just to know exactly where these are on the map. They have the red dotted lines on the map for you. And at each location, this, the cable car will go both ways um, at that stop location. So you can hop on, hop off on foot, and you can even bring vehicles onto the cable car. I even fit a BRDM on the cable car. So you can do like two of the Zimas. You can do a BRDM if you're feeling really cheeky. And another thing with the cable cars is they always spawn Panzerfaust rocket launchers, a lot of them, and even some of the items like the foldable shield. So it's a good idea if you have a Zima to take it up there and you can stow a lot of those rocket launchers inside of your Zima in the trunk before you board uh, board the cable car with it and take it to your next location. And also because Vikendi has the always on parachutes enabled, you can actually jump off of the cable car midair, deploy your parachute and land safely. A couple cool things to do is actually to take your car in reverse, flip your car off the cable car, jump out of the car, pull your parachute, and hopefully your car doesn't blow up and it lands on the ground and you can get in it and drive away, still having all your trunk littered up. It's a really cool experience for you and your squad. Now, next up is the train stop. Again, very self-explanatory. The train stops have four different stop locations. They start at the train station, then they go a little south of Narrows, then they stop again by Dino Land, and then they stop again in Coal Mine. At all of those locations, there are actually two trains going back and forth. So you could take a train in all the way from coal mine, hop off at the first stop, go to the one that's south of Narrows, hop at that stop, and then go to the one to train station. So you can effectively get halfway across the map without using any vehicles. And last but surely not least are the bear caves. Now this one I'm gonna be reaching just a little bit here, so bear with me, no pun intended, because the bears are not yet added in PUBG, but we suspect them to be coming in February. And there are a lot of these caves around the map where we think they're gonna be spawning. So that's why I went ahead and marked these on there. Currently, these caves don't have any loot in them. They are areas that you can explore, you can fight in, and I've even had some of the circles end in these cave areas, which have been really, really cool circle endings. But up until then, that's all they are, just kind of a cool environment to be around. Once they add the bears, I suspect that there might be a bear at each and every cave. And yeah, who knows, maybe you can, if you kill the bear, you get some special loot, or maybe it's guarding like level three gear or something like that. So that'll be really cool when they do add that, but I figured I wanted to put these in just in case they do add it, you already got them here. Uh, now on that note, this map can be ever changing. So I have a full 4K high resolution version of this map saved in my Discord. Link will be in the description of this video. So you can join the Discord, go down to the map, download it to your computer. Or if you don't want that super high resolution that you can zoom in and zoom out of, feel free just to screenshot, you know, this one, of course, and, and just save that. All right, guys. So well, that's all I got for you today for Vikendi. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up, share it with a buddy and get subscribed for more PUBG content. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to go check out my other ultimate guide on all of the other PUBG maps. I have one video condensed with all of those maps, all of their secret locations, secret bunkers, hidden rooms, all that kind of cool stuff. That video will be up above you or in the description below. And of course, timestamps. So feel free to skip to whichever map you're most interested in. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had a blast making it. And uh, be sure to use credit code CDM at checkout, of course. Help your boy out. Support me at no extra cost. And I'll see you guys in the next live stream or the next video. Take care. Peace.